All right, Misha here again, and I'm back for the third time today. Um, I'll say, if ever you have a good paint day, go with it as long as you possibly can. So I had tons of fun in the last two paintings. Yesterday I did two paintings. One I abandoned, um, which I rarely ever abandon. Um, but when my son came downstairs and said, Mom, it looks like Easter threw up all over your canvas. Um, and I was in full agreement with that. Uh, <laughs> I scrapped it. And then I did another painting, which I may post, I may not post, um, that was green. It was a triple dirty pour, green, orange, and purple. Um, and I'm not a big orange fan, but I might post it for those big orange fans out there. Um, and the orange kind of took over everything. So. I was really wanting to be into it yesterday, but things just weren't quite jiving for me. And today I just feel the flow, which is awesome. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm probably gonna do one more painting today um, after this one, but right now I wanted to play more with the blow dryer. Uh, so in my very first blow dryer um, painting, I had done like the this V with dark colors and then I and then I kind of pulled it all back and had it come down the canvas and so today I'm gonna learn from that a little bit and try something a little different. I'm going to take and do strips of color um, and then I'm gonna I think blow dry it with the strips back and forth and then try to knock them together so or blow them together so we'll see how that turns out. Um, so paint color let's start with that of course with all my paintings I'm kind of stuck on the water and flow trawl I'm just sticking with it I like it I like the consistency I like the way it works um, the way it flows together so I'm just gonna stick with that for now um, as far as mediums go so now in this cup I've got some oh I got paints all over uh, apple barrel golden sunset in which I added a little bit of Artist Loft Brilliant Yellow to. This had kind of that yellow ochre color, which I do love yellow ochre, um, with certain color combinations. It really pops and it's awesome um, and very earthy. So I added a little bit of yellow just to tone it up a little bit, um, brighten it up a little bit. So that's what's in this cup. In here, just straight flow trawl, not flow trawl. Um, Artist Loft Low Acrylics, um, just gold. And then in this cup, I ended up doing some combinations. So I had started with Flamenco Red, Apple Barrel Flamenco Red, and it wasn't dark enough. So then I added a little bit of Barn Red, which kind of muted it out a little bit. And I didn't want so much, so much of a muted color. And so then I went back and added some Basic Liquitex, Basics Liquitex um, Cadmium Red Deep Hue, which is still muted a little bit, but it did brighten it up a little bit. So um, that's all in this cup. In this cup, I went straight for, nope, that's not it, Crimson. Um, I love Crimson. I like to use it in a lot of paintings. It's a fun color. So that's Artist Loft Crimson. And then over here, I've got white and black. White, I had to use as much of this Craft Smart white. That's nah, just white um, because, like I keep saying, almost out of white. Um, and then I used for the black uh, Liquitex Mars Black Liquitex Basics. And again, just water and flow trawl and everything. So. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can get more of an overhead shot. And I'm gonna grab out my blow dryer again, yay! And we're gonna have some fun. These are such contrasting colors that I hope that it we can really see the effects with it. So I'm gonna go for it. All right, let's see what happens.
Oh my God, I love this so much. I really do. I'm gonna tip some. Oh my gosh, we've got webbing effects. We've got, there's so much paint on here. Just shifting it a little bit. My edges are not fully covered, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, yeah, but that's not gonna be too hard. Um, oh my God, I love it. Now, I'm afraid it's gonna change a ton because there's so much paint on here. Um, I find that's why my paintings don't tend to change very much is because I tend to knock off a lot of paint by the time I'm done. So, um, this one, no. And I'm, and if you notice, like the way it was pooling up, this canvas definitely bows in the middle. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have to see what changes. Um, all right, I think I need to leave it alone for now. I'm totally going to leave it alone, and we're going to see what happens. I'll bring you guys back in in about an hour. All right. All right, this is about an hour later, and not much has changed. Yay! I'm very excited that not much has changed because I love it the way it is. Let me go back over here. This is how you were viewing it before. Let me get it focused in. Come on. And so I wanted to bring you guys in and get a closer look. I'll tell you the direction I like it in the most is this way. But because of the window, I don't know if you can see it, but I like the black at the top. So I'm going to bring you guys in close and give you a view. Close-up shots. Alright, so that's it for this painting. I absolutely love this one. It's helping me realize how to use the hair dryer to create effects. And I'll be definitely playing with my hair dryer some more. Um, <clears throat> tell me what you guys think. Uh, give me some suggestions. What would you like to see? What are you struggling with that you want to see an experiment on? Go ahead and do that and then make sure to subscribe. I added a little, uh, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called, but I added a little subscribe button on the actual video. So you can click there, um, comment below. I want to hear from you. So please respond or comment. Uh, tell me if you want to see the same thing with different colors, make color suggestions, whatever. Just um, whatever you're thinking. I'd love to hear from you. I love interacting with you guys. So. Keep it up and let me know what you think. Until next time.